Hi everyone. Welcome to Ahmed's world. Today's video is about jinns. Let's begin. Jinn are supernatural creatures in Islam that are often depicted as spiritual beings made of smokeless flame or scorching wind. They are be created by God out of smokeless fire and have free will, much like humans. In Islamic tradition, jinn are said to inhabit a parallel world to humans and can interact with them in various ways. They are often depicted as powerful and unpredictable beings that can influence human affairs, but can also be benevolent or malevolent depending on their disposition. There are different types of jinn in Islam, each with their own unique characteristics and abilities. Here are some examples. Merid, considered to be the most powerful type of jinn, the Merid are described as giant and imposing creatures that are often associated with the element of water. They are known for their strength and have been depicted as both helpful and malevolent. Ifrit, the Ifrit are a type of jinn that are often associated with the element of fire. They are known for their cunning and are often depicted as tricksters or troublemakers. In some stories, they are also known for their ability to shapeshift. Ghul, the Ghul are a type of jinn that are associated with death and the desert. They are often depicted as malevolent creatures that prey on humans, particularly travelers who stray too far from civilization. Sila, the Sila are a type of jinn that are associated with the element of air. They are often depicted as benevolent and helpful and are said to be the protectors of travelers and adventurers. Overall, jinn are a fascinating and complex part of Islamic mythology, and their different types reflect the diversity of beliefs and stories associated with them. Yes, there are many famous stories and legends involving jinn in Islamic mythology. Here are some examples. The Thousand and One Nights, also known as the Arabian Nights, is a collection of Middle Eastern and South Asian stories that includes tales of jinn. One of the most famous of these tales is Aladdin's Wonderful Lamp, which features a powerful jinn who grants wishes to the protagonist. In Islamic tradition, the Prophet Solomon was said to have had the ability to control jinn and use them to perform various tasks. One story tells of a jinn named Sakr who was trapped in a well by Solomon and later converted to Islam. In some parts of the Middle East, it is believed that jinn can possess humans and cause them to act in unusual or erratic ways. This belief has led to the practice of exorcism, in which a religious leader attempts to drive out the jinn from the possessed person. According to some legends, jinn can also be summoned and commanded by humans through the use of magic. This practice, known as seer or a black magic, is considered to be a sin in Islam and is often associated with evil intentions. There are also many stories of jinn who fall in love with humans or interact with them in various ways. These tales often explore themes of forbidden love, power dynamics, and the supernatural. Overall, jinn play an important role in Islamic mythology and have inspired many fascinating stories and legends over the years. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on mythology and folklore.